G'day, I'm Lukey, and I'm a streamaholic. And hello, I'm the Warship, and I'm a streamaholic, and welcome to Streamaholics. I think I have to refresh you, though. God dang it. Ah, they can hear me saying this, but I don't even care. Was the audio, the, uh, the visual was off by heaps. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends. How are we going? G'day. Oh, it's okay. It's not too bad. I think it was just me. I think it's just me. All That's right. all right. Don't worry. Yep, 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 yep. But all hello, right. everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to a sort of late edition of Streamaholics. We're probably not going to be on for the low, like the lots and lots of time, although there is a big thing to talk about. Um, I've got family commitments over here. My dad's just come over from Victoria, so I haven't seen him since before the pandemic started. So, yeah, going to be a bit of a quick one from my end today. But boy, oh boy. There is some shit to talk about today. Um, <laughs> how are you doing yeah, there, Lukey? Together. Right? Yeah, pretty good, mate. Pretty good, mate. I just want to, everyone in chat, how are you going? How are you going for this fine Friday night? <laughs> everyone give a good shout out to Shibby for actually turning up here when his dad's just came over too. So I think it's a great commitment that he's showing here tonight. So I mean, he must, have, he must have really wanted to talk about Twitch tonight. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that I'm kind of become, I've become the host, you know, like in between you not being on and then Jim being there, Jim being off and, you know, like kind of all the other guests we've had, like slowly but surely I've become the de facto host to now where Streamaholics is kind of yeah. like a little bit my baby, you know, so like I have to be here for it. I was going to say, hey, maybe you guys could cover it today because you two sell, like surly bastards would have like a fun time with what the topic is here. But then I was like, well, no one can defend Twitch. So I'm a listen. And honestly, I've gone the most of the day without actually getting my opinion too, too, too full on because I know that the – um. I know that there's a lot to talk about when it comes to this and I know that it's going to be a bit of a controversial subject and that there's going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit less happy shippy, um, a little bit more angry shippy than perhaps there, there should be. But, yeah, when it comes to this, I think it's important for us to cover the news um, because, you know, that's what we do when it comes to streaming. And really, this is a resource. At the end of the day, what we do on Streamaholics is, is a resource for... Um, for anyone who's interested and serious about what they do on this platform or on any other streaming service platform. Um. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a resource, but it's also uh, just two people's opinions too, so just remember that. When you're yeah, having, yeah. Take you know, what we say with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we know what we're talking about. but Oh, yeah, that's why I'm so successful. Right. And yeah. so popular and successful and handsome. It's all absolutely because I know what I'm talking about. Um, also, I'm really humble, which is nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we probably should start off then. So, Lukey, you want to take control of this situation for a second and start to uh, rag on, uh, on Twitch, yeah, I guess. So I guess, I guess we'll, I'll sort of mention what the actual news was. And, and I don't know if you can actually call it news yet. It's kind of like a leak, isn't it? It's like a rumor. Yeah. A lot of really prominent sites are talking about it and, and reporting it. Bloomberg, I think, was the one that we got shared first in, in the Discord and brought yeah. attention. So. That's the major one is Bloomberg, like, yeah. You're in a, you, you just stepped into a cave there, mate. Oh, shit. Wait, that's the voice mod. Oops. <laughs> I just won't talk during this bit. <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, Twitch is – so I'll, I'll just read a little bit from the article that I've got in front of me. Twitch is reportedly looking at making changes to its partner program, which will include paying top streamers less that, with an adjusted revenue split. At present, the revenue split for partners is 50-50 on a Tier 1 subscription, 60-40 uh, Tier 2, 70-30 Tier 3 in favor of the streamer. Uh, some Twitch partners have privately negotiated deals. However, according to a new port from Bloomberg, so it actually came originally from Bloomberg, um, this revenue split could maybe pared down to 50% <coughs> across the board. Mm -hmm. um, just skipping ahead in that, it sounds like one of the things that Twitch is going to give back to people is potential for um, taking away the exclusivity, um, which I guess means that they're saying, hey, we'll take away some of that exclusivity and some of the problems that people have with like wanting to spread themselves around the internet a little bit more. Um, but in doing that, we're going to take some more of um, a bigger cut of your money that we're already taking a mm -hmm. large amount of um what was your initial initial thoughts on this <laughs> well the thing is is that obviously my first thought is well you know 
I'm not a partner yet. So, you know, like, like, like what's my problem <laughs> yeah. really? Because at the end of the day, um, with, with the way that Twitch is with waning numbers and, and all that kind of stuff is that we're probably further away from that than we've been in a while. So why do I particularly care? But the problem is, is that when you look at the whole situation overarchingly, how long before affiliates get 30%, how long before affiliates get 20%, and because partners kick up a stink about having 50% and then all of a sudden, what's the benefit? Why do I want the tick now? I, as it stands as of today, I don't give a shit about the, the tick number, the purple tick anymore at all. Like, because what does it give me? It gives me the clout of having a purple tick because really that's all that they're selling. Like if you take away the rev share, which is an appealing part for people who make it their full-time job like myself, if you take away the rev share, what do they really have? It's just being able to say, Oh yeah, sick. You know, I've got a uh, tick. Is that it? Like, because that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would, why would anyone want that? You know, like that. That's just crazy talk. Um, so yeah, my original thoughts are that it's. I'm not. I don't know. I don't feel great about. It. I don't feel great about it at all. And I know I'm not the only one, because I've got plenty of mates who are either partnered or on the way to being partnered who. Now they don't really know where they stand, you know. They don't really know if they're doing uh, the right thing by being on Twitch's side. Um, I'm going to try to change my, my camera. looks a little bit... What the fuck is... I'm hosting! Why is my camera broken? That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, let me see if I can fix that real quick. But, yeah, as, a, as an initial thought, like, I, I'm just really, really confused because, like, we put a lot of work, as you know, into everything that we do um like my channel my 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 staff like everyone who works oh, yeah. on what we do here we put a lot of work into it um and yeah i don't i don't know what it means for us because like we is it mean that we just get no do we just get nothing out of us now is it is it just is it pointless for us to even try like what, what what's what's the end game here like with twitch i look at it and it's it's provided my family a place to survive like over the past um, nearly two years, like I have taken my my family situation from a place where we weren't making it making ends meet on a on a weekly basis to like now now we 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 you know we we kind of are you know on a good month we're doing really well um, on a bad month we're still doing uh, rough as hell but on a good month we're we're doing okay and this really calls that into question for me like that. This really takes it from a situation where, like, if the changes are real and they do end up happening, like, what do we do? What does someone like me do? You know what I mean? Like, someone who legitimately uses this as their nine to five, you know, like, as their day job, as the thing that pays the way for everything. Like, yeah. what do people in my situation do? Now, I understand that, like, you know, Twitch partners, they're probably, they're at least on the way to being set up financially, like, you know, they've probably got a good couple of sponsors that may not affect the problem too much. Um, there are probably a few other things that go into their systems that, that make it a lot easier for them. But some of these people, to lose 20% of their revenue is huge. Um, yeah. What about you? How do you feel? I know how you feel in general about Twitch, but... Um. <laughs> oh, like, see, like, I get I get, I get, get nailed down as, like, the, the YouTube or Facebook guy. But it's not really that I've got... Like, Twitch is the best streaming platform. Absolutely. It's got all the best features. It runs the smoothest. It is the place for streaming, right? So just to, off the top of the bat, like, the only reason why I talk about Facebook and YouTube is because I think it is so, so difficult to make it on Twitch mm -hmm. um, that I think you should be spreading yourself elsewhere. So that's kind of why I, I always talk about people making sure that they're using the other platforms, whether you like them or not, mm -hmm. to... To broaden your um, audience and reach, um, but back to the this whole thing um, with the yeah the Twitch partners. I've got I've got an overall thing about what I think is actually happening here, and it doubles back on something that I talked about last year. And going back to the the talks that we had, where I got really nerdy on all the advertising stats and stuff like that. And that, that was the other thing too here is I, I, I didn't see that in the article just then, but they are trying to increase the incentives for streamers to play ads during their streams as well. Mm -hmm. um, we all know that last year it was reported that in 2020, Twitch was trying to make uh, turn Twitch into a billion dollar a year 
ad revenue company. Yeah. And in that year, that was their target. Um, and even though, pan- even though the pandemic hit, apparently they only got to about 60% of that. Um, and since that time, since I heard that news that they had only got to 60%, and they had tried to turn it into YouTube and they just don't know how. Um, and the reason, the troubles that they're having with ad revenue, now they're going to try and incentivize their streamers to play even more ads to try and get, gain more money. But the thing is, is that their, their, their idea is that they haven't been able to crack they haven't been able to crack the advertising space in the way that they hoped. They wanted to become a YouTube in that sort of sense. And it's very, very hard because it's live content. And yep. a lot of the YouTube ad revenue comes from ads played on VODs um, and edited content. So it's it's much easier to play ads to an audience that isn't going to miss anything while watching an ad. Yep. So they, they know that the Twitch culture doesn't agree with that because people are missing out on stuff if Twitch starts running random ads. So they have to try and turn the streamers into the people who press the play on the ads, and they're trying that again now to double down on that. The thing is that right now, Twitch people or Twitch streamers don't make a lot for their ads no. um, because of the platform. Because YouTube can, YouTube's got the two biggest search platforms in the world. Yeah. So YouTube knows what you're eating for dinner, what you like to eat, whether you've got kids, what your interests are outside of watching videos and that. So YouTube can sell the ads to companies and say, hey, I can put the ads right in front of the people that are going to buy your product. Yeah. Twitch can't do that. Twitch just has people that watch video games. So, yeah, you might get some tech companies paying some money because they know that people that watch video games being played must like tech. But in terms of all of the other companies in the mainstream are finding it hard to spend money on Twitch ads. So Twitch yep. can't actually charge as much for their ads. Um, and then the streamers are seeing less of that return again. So they're, but they're doubling down now again, trying to get the ads again in there. But taking this is the, this is the thing about the the revenue split. The the big talk over the last sort of six months, twelve months has been that Facebook's not going to take any of your revenue until at least twenty twenty three. They're going to give you a hundred percent of your um, donations and stuff that come through desktop. YouTube's on like seventy percent for everybody, I think. Yeah, and everyone's been asking Twitch. You know, these are the richest just live streaming platform at the moment, even though these other two are branching out into different forms of content along with the live. But can we please see some of that return back? Yeah, bought a little bit and said, "Hey, oh, we want Amazon sitting there like, no, actually, we could take a little bit more of that money." <laughs> like, I don't even know, understand how that's even happened. No, or if it will happen, like, yeah, it's. It's scary because we look at, like, how much money Amazon has in the first place. But at the same time, that doesn't mean – because they're separate companies, you know. As much as we like to talk shit about, well, you know, Bezos has all the money in the universe, um, at the end of the day, they're not actually – like, they're connected in name, but they're not connected. They've got their own deadlines. They've got their own, like – um, like KPI, all that kind of stuff. They have to meet a certain a certain amount of revenue every month for it to still be a viable business and servers and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like there still has to be there still has to be rules involved. Um, that being said, obviously RevShare sucks. RevShare sucks. It has fucking sucked for ages. It really sucks for creators who make it their full time job. You know, people like myself, where I can have someone at the moment. I think we're sitting on like two hundred and. 74 for the month, right, as far as subscribers go, which is actually about 300 down at the moment. So we're in a bad month is what I would call. Um, yeah. But even if those, if that rev share of that 275 was like closer to 70% like a Dixper does at an entry level or 90% like Dixper does as a partnership, like if the rev share goes up a bit like that, just as an example, I use Dixper, but um, like, yeah, my goodness, you think about, how much more money that would be. And then the incentive brings less stress because there's one thing that is completely mind-blowingly stressful and that is when are we going to get paid? How much is it going to be? Am I going to survive? Mm. And a lot of streamers die on that hill, like myself included, where if I have a bad month, it translates to my content. You know, if I have a bad month where like I've had streams with like less than 40 people average in my streams and that's, unheard of for me 
Um, but on those days, I'm like, well, that's it. We're closing down. Goodbye. Finished. Last episode. We're never doing it again. Because at the end of the day, like, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing this content for my people who I care about. But I'm really just sitting in a room and I'm not investing time in anything else because this is what I'm passionate about and what I'm really good at too. So to then be in a situation where, no, it's not working, you just want to quit. So if you take even more run money away, how many more people are quitting purely based off of that? You know, like, 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 like how many more people are quitting like streaming altogether? And what will that do? All that will do is drive them to, to, to repeat the cycle again, you know, offer more money and then have more people come through, make it easier to make partner. And then, you know, it's just the cycle will repeat itself. And, that's not healthy for anyone. We want to drive this forward. We need to be working together. Um, it, it, it's definitely not fair on the mental health of the people that are in the industry, and that's been a big thing anyway. And we've we've seen it over the past that Twitch is not being good at looking after their community. No. Um, but they, the, Twitch's whole thing with this, like when you see the big the big guns leave and go to YouTube, they do that because Twitch doesn't even bother offering them as masses like uh, anywhere close to a contract. No. YouTube comes knocking with all the millions and says, hey, come over here because we think you'd be good over here. Oh, and then they turn, like Ludwig, turn back to Twitch. Hey, look at all the money I've made. What do you reckon about your offer? Nah, nah. Because Twitch's mentality is next man up. We've got all of the viewers. Our viewers will just move on to somebody else and start subbing to somebody else. Like, yeah. I think that's Twitch's mentality, and it's been their mentality for a long time. Is like one a major guy leaves, doesn't matter. Next man up. Somebody else will get those views and the subs. The viewers yep. don't change over here. The viewership's not dropping. Every time someone leaves, our viewership isn't really dropping. We're actually yep. increasing the last couple of years. So they don't care about the mental health of, of their... They don't have to. Their, ...their partners because they don't have to. One person leaves, another person gets partnership and gets the sub, sub money, which yep. they're, now, they're now going to take a bigger cut of. Yeah, and that's the thing too. So it just creates a situation where... Nobody wins except for Twitch. And even then, mm. Twitch loses people. And, like, even for me, I am, as a full-time streamer, I am considering taking the hit again because my financials are in such a state this month that I am considering taking the hit again and transferring all my stuff over to somewhere like YouTube and live streaming there on a second account that isn't related to my YouTube channel so that I don't have to worry about, like, visibility issues and stuff like that. Um, because yeah, like we're not in a good spot and where if we were partnered, we'd be in a worse spot right now because all of a sudden I'm getting told that no, you get 20%, 30% less of the cut than you've been getting this whole time. Like yeah. that would legitimately just kill me. Like it would, it would, I would not be able to handle that. And like we work so hard. Like I know myself, I'm on the computer 13, 14 hours a day. For God's sake, I haven't seen my dad in like, two to three years and I'm here instead of being in there because Twitch is important to me. This is my job. Streamaholics is part of that job and it's important to me. There are nights where I don't go to bed till three o'clock. In fact, we call them in normal terms nights um, because like that's literally what I do. Like I'm, I will get here and I will sit down by like eight o'clock and I will not get off the computer until three. I'll be live streaming for most of that time and whether there's a hundred people in there or if there's less than 50, we're doing the same thing every single night. We've got that energy. We're bringing that fun. Um, and the general hype around it sucks at the moment for a lot of us. Like we, we, I come from, uh, when I first started streaming, the hype that I had was just unheard of. And like, I would be getting like constantly ridiculous amounts of like, you know, subscribers and raids and all that stuff. And I've gone from that to this month where it has just been heinous and scary. And I just think that if I was a partner in here, because we, we've been aiming for that, we are legitimately big spoilers on the verge of starting a new partner push. I was speaking about this with my team last week. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Now I don't know if I should. Now I don't know if I should even do that or if I should just say, hey, we need to move this whole unit somewhere else and then drop Patreon and say, look, guys, to live, for my family to live, how many of you would be interested in joining the Patreon? Maybe we could do videos where I got this thing on on my pram and we drive, we walk around during the day for extra content. You know, all this stuff is running through my brain now, which didn't run through my brain until today. Um, like, you know, 
because I'm scared. Because even though I'm not partnered, I'm I'm bloody close. Um, so it's a real fear for me in the near future. Like, what happens if I make partner and they're like, oh yeah, now your rev share is forty percent, and I'm like, oh yeah, your rev share can go and itself because I'm not doing that. Like, you know, it's already bad enough where it is. So, yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's deeply, deeply scary for me. Well. I would say this is just coming from, and you know, this was part of my sort of ethos the whole way along with this is that even if this doesn't eventuate and there's enough backlash that these things don't happen, I think everyone um, that's in your situation and other situations should consider anyway putting your eggs in other baskets yeah. as well. Yeah. Somehow trying to figure out some sort of a plan with your content that you, you are everywhere and elsewhere. Um, or at least in another couple of spots anyway. Whether, I... whether it's like whether you get into your, uh, Instagrams or whether someone's good at TikToks or you can make some edited content even on YouTube. Because if yep. at least if, you, if you've been growing a YouTube channel, even if it's edited content and you decide, nah, Twitch is fucked, I'm going somewhere else, at least you've got a base there to be able to start your live streaming off of your growing, like your growth that you've already got there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd- it's it's time in a day though, isn't it? Like honestly, because if I look at what I do now, content wise, like I'm constantly on, you know, like. But where yeah. the hell am I supposed to find time in the day to then have edit? Because myself, because at the end of the day, it's almost impossible to find someone who will edit for you without charging an arm and a leg. Okay, um, yeah. And the people that you do know, it's really hard to get them into a point where you know if you say I need this where you know that you'll actually get it at the end, you know, like, so like it's, it's very difficult to be in that situation, you know? So what do I do? Do I take a hit on all of my stuff and then just say, okay, well, if we, you know, I guess we'll just won't do anything except work on videos. And then what? I get videos, I've got 50 views on them. Cool. Cool. What, what, why, you know, what am I doing wrong? How do I, how do I translate thousands of views on a Twitch live stream down to a fucking 30 over on YouTube. Like, and, you know, that's being generous. When I was getting 120 people in my streams, I was still getting 17 people in my YouTube streams. Like, and then when it comes to viewing content, it's it's so much less. That's why I asked today. I'm like, what do I do on YouTube if I do something? Because I don't know what works anymore. Because my job for the last two years has been to be a live streamer, to be a Twitch live streamer, somebody whose whole job revolves around talking about the new current shit that's going on, you know, talking about like like lifestyle stuff, doing just chatting, playing marbles, playing horror games, like doing really interactive stuff. And now to go from that to a platform where I'm not doing that at all, it just feels like it's been a massive waste of time, you know, And because then at the same time, how many of those people are going to come across? I tell you, it's not many in my experience. Like, and that's terrifying. It's, it's none. It's none. Like, I've, this is the same thing. I, well, not the same thing, obviously. Um, but I've gone from being on Facebook and averaging 50 to 80 people to thinking that I was going to turn that into a mixer audience. Yep. And realizing immediately, like, I, I was that <coughs> confident in my content at the time when I was on Facebook that I was like, oh, no, there's this other platform over here that's just like Twitch. Um, except there's less people on it, so I've got more chance of making it. Mm-hmm. I could turn my 50 to 80 concurrent viewers on Facebook into, I might it might take a little bit of a hit, but I've got the confidence that I can do it. Nah, nah, doesn't matter. You you might turn 10 of them over there out of 50 to 80, Yep. and then you start from scratch. Yep. Um, had I been on both platforms from the start, I might have had 30 or 40 on both, and it's a bit easier. Um, but And then Mixer closes the stores. So I go from 50 to 80 on Facebook to starting from scratch really on Mixer and then six months later, Mixer closes the doors and then what do I do? I, I've gone through that twice now with having to start my own content and it's taken me 18 months to get the mojo back to go, um, yeah, I want to do this and what's my plan this time because I need to make sure that I'm in more places than one. Yeah. Um, but I will say on the on the backside of that is that i do this as a secondary job yes secondary a hobby on top of a, a full-time job whereas i can see how hard it would be for you because you've you've built uh, a wage whatever the wage is off of <coughs> twitch whether mm-hmm. it's up and down or not it's your wage and that's what you're living off and that's what you're living off from month to month so 
my my ethos has always been like don't stream 60 hours a week or 40 hours a week stream 20 hours a week and do 20 hours worth of video content and put that in elsewhere because twitch if you want to make it on twitch or make it like and we'll talk about well we don't even have to talk about it it's been said before about how how many of the people on twitch are even making minimum wage even at the top 0.01 percent yeah um it's it's something like the top ten thousand creators on twitch uh only about seven thousand of those top ten thousand which is 0.01 percent of the streamers on twitch are even making minimum wage from twitch yeah and yet everybody wants to do it well that's the thing is um, that i looked at my numbers ages ago for finances and wage on twitch and i was actually sitting in like I think there was only 700,000 people ahead of me as far as how much I was making. Um, oh, yeah, so you're in that bottom, that bottom bracket of that. Yeah, bracket. yeah. And, and, like, so it was really good for the, for a while there with it. And now it's – it's we're not quite there anymore at all. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it was really a – like, I looked at that and I'm like, man, but we're not – there must be a big jump, you know, between where I am and where the next level is from there. And yeah, there there really is. So I don't know. I guess what I, what I, really speaking at the end of the day, what what I'm saying is is that yes, there are some valid points, positive points, and one of them being the exclusivity thing. Because I tell you right now, the first thing I'm doing is hooking up with one of my friends to have the um, the, the system run and stream both. Because I'm not paying for it like restream or something like that, but yeah. to have it so that it's streaming to both um platforms absolutely like one of the first things i'll do if they if they drop this hammer is say well no now 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 the doors are open because i can't survive off of this and then the second thing i'll probably be doing is talking to my team i actually have a team specifically designed i have a few different people sets of people in my um in my community and one set is like the mods obviously uh but then i have a team as well and they're like they're called the community liaison officers and what they do is their whole job is to see how to make the community better um so i'll be going back to them and saying hey guys like how do we make something like Patreon a thing or coffee or something? Because if, if Twitch is taking even more of our revenue, how do we survive? You know, like, because they are all on board with like helping us do that, you know? So, but yeah, it, it's, it's honestly and genuinely a frightening time. I don't know how many times I've gone in to that chat and just been like a mess lately. And like, we're not even experiencing it yet. We're experiencing the, the down period, but we're not experiencing this other stuff right now. So once that other stuff yeah. hits, if it hits like Jeepers, that's going to be rough for everyone. Like, What's the affiliate uh, on Twitch? Is it 30%? No, I, I think it is close enough to 50 as it stands. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it is 50% because out of like $8, I think we get four. So I think well, it currently sits you- at 50 I guess for someone like yourself, then you just got to get you wrap your head around if it does drop that you're just continuing on the same path up wise, yeah, and that you just got to continue to grow, yeah, and yeah, except for the point that, like, unless of course, then they say, well, the partners are like, well, how come we get that and the affiliates get this, you know, and then the situation becomes okay, well, then affiliates, because I haven't mentioned affiliates yet, the Bloomberg, the Bloomberg report doesn't talk about the affiliates yet. They only talk about the partnership program, which the yeah, partnership program too. actually includes, theoretically, it does include the affiliates because it is a program right. to go from a streamer to a partner. Like, this is the path to partner that I'm currently on right now. So technically speaking, you could be talking about that being overarchingly effective right now. So yeah, okay. um, what that could mean is, is that if it's 50% for partners, they could drop it down to 40. They could drop it down to 30. Yeah. You know, within those, those rules, it's really possible. And if they're willing to dog the partners out like this, some of these people are on 80% rev share, you know, and if they're willing to dog them down to like 60 or 50, like that's, that's bad. And that does not bode yeah. well for everyone who's got, you know, everyone who's got 200 people who are following them and they get, you know, eight subs a month, whatever it might be, 10 subs a month. Those people dropping them from from 50 down to 30, all that means is is that what that happens is then they take four months to get their payout or, you know, five months instead of maybe two or yeah. three, you know, and that's unfair for those people too. As much as it's unfair for a full-time streamer like myself, that sucks for them too. Yeah. I just I don't get it. It's, it's, they, they've got to know that this is going to take them a huge 
a huge PR hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, like Facebook's, as an example, has just released that they're trying to make it even better for creators and trying to reduce the, the payout to 21 days instead of 30 days as well. Like yeah. they're trying to bring theirs right in to make sure that their creators are being looked after financially for the effort that they put in. Um, and then Twitch, on the back of that sort of stuff that's happening in the background of the cuts of the other things and Facebook reducing their payout times, Twitch is going to have the balls to just say, hey, we're all going to take more. You yeah. wanted less? We're actually going to take more. Like, <laughs> I just, And we're also going to try and push you to feed ads out there. Like, It's, yeah. just a, it's a money-hungry company. And whether it's... And this is... I reckon it's... I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch is trying, and I mentioned this last year, like when's Twitch sell? Yeah. Like, when's Amazon sell Twitch? And I wouldn't be surprised because what's the thing that you do when you own a business, a small business even, corner shop? What's the thing that you do right before you try and put it on the market? You make so, it as profitable as you possibly can. Yeah. So they bought it for almost a billion dollars like seven years ago, whatever it was. They paid... Part of that money was to get the live streaming technology, which Twitch is at uh, Amazon's now actually using elsewhere on the internet, not away from Twitch. They paid for that um, technology. Yeah. And so they're going to make money off of that already. Yeah. They've made their profits every year on Twitch and they've been trying to turn it into the next YouTube. Are they turning it in? They're trying to crack the ad revenue thing, which they just seem to not be able to do. That's why they keep taking more and more money off everyone else. Because they want to turn it into even more small amount of profit for a large company like Amazon, yeah. or did they pay that? Did they pay for the technology that they're going to use and make their billion dollars back elsewhere? This was just a little money spinner to try and make to try and sell for say two billion, and that maybe that I, I said this last year. I said how long until Twitch sells, and I reckon the signs are still there. Yeah. Nothing's telling me that this isn't going to happen in the next. 12 to 24 months. Yeah. That they might be trying to boost the profits right at the end before some, and before taking on, and who knows, like, there's only a few different tech companies in the world that are going to have the coin to spend on a Twitch. Like, well, would, would Google even care about buying Twitch now that they've started their own thing up and put so much money into it? Like, yeah. but I guess it would get rid of a complete, that would take over their competition. Like, that's yeah, yeah. Be worth heaps. Yeah, no, I'm not, that's the thing is, is that it's, wait, what about Disney? <laughs> you know, like, like <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to collapse into one of these major corporations too. You know, there's no reason why it can't. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is, is that we're at a point now where it is, it is scary and it has been getting more progressively scary over the past six months to the point now where, you know, we've had big creators leave the platform We've had a lot of rules change, and now they're affecting the financials. Um, so how long before we just stop? How long before it just stops being a thing? I would not have thought when I started this that I would be looking at a situation where maybe I couldn't do it anymore. Um, but the more that things go bad and wrong, the closer that is. And that's not a good place to be at all. Like... Um, yeah, like everyone is saying here in the chat, it's like as far as things go, there are there are so many alternatives, you know, like your coffee, your your, your Patreons, and most of these their their take their cut is so minuscule. Um, there is literally no reason other than make money on Twitch's side for why you would adjust this at this point. Um, like th- there is no reason. I, like I've had, I have people come into my streams now. And they will come in and they will say, all right, cool, I'm here. And then they'll be like, oh, my God, seven ads in a row. And I'm like, I'm sorry, you're not subscribed, but what can I do about it? Like, it's just the way that Twitch is right now. Um, So, yeah, like, they're they're getting the revenue. They're getting it and they just want more. And that, to me, is not good. So um, I'm definitely a lot a lot more worried about it than I would like to be. Um, And, you know, it's hard to tell me that it won't be 
bad, you know, it really, really is. And every content creator who takes this seriously as their job should be really looking into it. I really highly encourage you to go read the Bloomberg report, have some investigation on your own as well. Because like I said, we're not advisors here. Like, you know, we're not financial advisors where we, these are opinions on everything we do. Like everything we do, I'm not going to tell you to, you know, light your stream on fire and just give up and, and go do something else. Um, you know, we can only give opinions on how we see the state of it all right now. And, um, yeah, it, to me, it's a little bit spooky. So, um, yeah, for some people, ads can happen three, four, even five times a stream. I've seen people come in and they'll say, oh, I'm here, I'm playing a game. Oh, sorry, you'll have to give me a minute, Shippy, because I can't, I can't hear you because I'm watching an ad. And, yeah, it's just, it's nuts. It's nuts. Do they play random ads, do they? Yes. Like there's no. I actually didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be sitting there, and it'll go to an ad. Yeah. So that's good. That means you're good because that means you're subscribed to mostly everyone you watch. Um, well, it might be because I watch on my. I don't know. I watch on my Apple TV. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but yeah, no idea. Yeah. No, no, I don't actually subscribe to many people because I I, I watch on different platforms. I actually watch mostly YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few people in our community that I'll drop in on, but. Um, I don't really subscribe because I have to put a lot of money into my own thing at this stage. Yeah, no, that's totally fair as well. Like, like absolutely. <laughs> but it, it, that's the thing. Like, you know, when, when does it... <sighs> It's like we put a lot of, like I've been saying all this time, we put so much work into it and when does that translate into a return, you know, because it did for a while there and then slowly but surely that return has skated off with more increasing ads and that stupid thing that happened the other week with um, the boost the stream that you could pay for. Um, yep, another, another money grab. It's just another money grab. To be on the, front page. the last six months have just been money and – the more that they're getting, the more that we're getting. Sorry, the less that we're getting. And we're getting to a point now where, yeah, people will leave the platform for this. Like, People will leave. People will stay. Um, Twitch won't have any problem with viewership or subs money. They are going to get their money and people will leave. And they're, I think Twitch has said, we're okay with people leaving. Yeah. Because somebody else is going to take the spot. Yeah. Because that's who we are. Yeah. Deal with it. Yep. That's the way that they've always treated it. I, I, I haven't seen anything different from Twitch since I've been involved with Twitch for like two years since before Mixer went down. Mm-hmm. And it's part of the reason why I haven't started streaming again because I don't see the point of streaming on Twitch. Yep. I, I haven't. I literally quit because I was, like I said, growing on Facebook, thought Mixer was pretty cool. Mixer got closed its doors and then I was like, I will go back to Facebook and I've done a couple of streams and because you've been away for six months, nobody's there anymore. Um, Mixer's not there anymore, so I'll start on Twitch. I'm just like, and but Twitch has always given me bad vibes yeah. with the way that they run things from the very beginning. That's why I started on Facebook in the first place. Plus, they don't have any discoverability. Like, I, if anyone's been listening to what I've been saying for two years or longer, or no, no, sorry, how long we've been going for? Eight months, maybe. However long Streamaholics has been up. <laughs> on this show, right? Don't put all of your eggs in the Twitch basket. Like I said before, if you've got hours, split them up, put them elsewhere. I don't see anyone. Well, you're 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 in a, a particular spot with your content right now because you've already sort of got into that routine of like I stream. Let's say it's forty hours a week of whatever it is, fifty yeah. hours a week. Um, if you drop twenty hours to go put it into, uh, you know, a one night a week on some other platform, trying to grow that. Long run, maybe you will grow that. Maybe 10 hours into editing one video per week. Long run, maybe you, if you do the right content and can hit it over on YouTube with edited content, maybe that'll turn into returns as well. Yeah. In the meantime, 20 hours less live streaming means less revenue because people sub and, and donate and stuff while you're live. So you're already in that sort of that, that trap <coughs> of live streaming. Yeah, because and honestly, might, if I miss a day. Work. Yeah, that's some money gone. Yeah, like that. It's the same with the big streamers. They might they make a million dollars a month. Yeah, but if they take one day off, they make nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, like it's, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a, look, honestly, it's enough. If I miss a day, like I've missed a couple here and there, um, and if I miss a day, it goes from having 
And, it, and it, we need roughly 500 subscribers to survive for the month for my family, right? Um, at the moment, we're at less than 300. Um, because I've taken a day off here and there, that puts me in the situation where it's like, I just should never take time off. And I've actually gone harder this week than I've gone in ages. And it has been not beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> and right. Which is, which is, and that's the funny thing about Twitch is that you have to use things like Patreon and YouTube and TikTok and Instagram or podcasting or whatever it is to try and get a small percentage of those people to come out <coughs> on Twitch because there's no discoverability. So if you're on a, a downward trough in your content, what, what can you do by just streaming to bring extra people in? That's it's it. Like, no, you, you've got to do it elsewhere anyway with Twitch. Yeah. It's Honestly, platforms always run. I need, if I had a full-time proper legitimate editor who I could say, Hey man, let's do some content. We'll go film it and you can be in a call or whatever. <laughs> and then bang it out. Boom, boom, boom. A few days a week. There's content done. Like I've wanted streamaholics to be on the, the green brand for forever. Like, 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 but I, I want to do my own stuff there as well. You know, I want to be able to get it on there and, and have it on, you know, all those major sort of podcasting networks too. Yeah. Um, because I really think that that's other fingers in pies. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and that, that's exactly right. Like I, even I look at streamaholics and I love doing the show. Um, you know, we, there is talks about doing some different things in the background at the moment, um, which we've been, yeah, we're across that, yeah. Do, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but on the same thing, it's like I feel like doing Streamaholics, although I enjoy it and these good people here rock up to watch us every week, in order for it to grow, we can't just be putting, throwing things out there into the void of Twitch. Yeah. Expecting to grow the... And grow even the, the void of YouTube is not there for it either because, honestly, they're not they're not there for it, you know what I mean? Like what, what we need is we need it to be multifaceted because, like, that's in general what you need to do with, with content. You know, we need to have clips on Instagram. We need to have clips on everywhere, Instagram. Um, and then we need to have it on audio only, podcasting. And because, you know, despite how fantastic we look, um, you know, you still need to have it on other platforms as well. Because, you know, I do not watch podcasts. I listen to them in the car. Exactly. Like when I'm going places, like, you know, that that's just kind of how it is. So... But yeah, if I had the facility to have myself like a proper dedicated, dedicated like person who was like, yo, I'll do this with you for X amount of time. Once we start making X amount of money, I'll take this amount. But before that, I'll take nothing. And then when we make this amount of money, I'll take this amount. But before that, we'll take nothing. And then we'll get to a point where it's like, okay, well, we're making $100,000 a month. Have five, 10, 20, whatever it is, you know, like, like take the amount you need out of it. You know what I mean? Like, like. Like yeah, like that's the dream, and like if if that was possible, it would be done. I assume by everyone. So um, like, I actually can't have a huge, a huge night tonight with this. So unfortunately, uh -huh. it's probably time for us to wrap up. Um, but this will be a part one, I would assume. We'll give it a week. We'll see how it looks in a week's time, and then we'll come back to it from there. Because I assume that this news will blow up pretty heavily. So. Um, yeah, if, if it's all right with you, I want to go spend time with the old man, so we might do that. Um, you, mate. Quick, quick one around the table there. Uh, for those who don't know who you are, where can they find you on the internet? Oh, well, I'm, my name is Lukey Bangers, and you can find me everywhere at Lukey Bangers with a Z uh, at the end. Um, but mostly you'll find me, for the most part, maybe on Twitter or in the Game on Oz Discord at this stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But where can we find you, Shippy? Not on Twitter at that name. We can't find me there. We can find me at underscore warship. Uh, and then at the moment, you can find me on Twitch, but I don't know for how long. Uh, you can find me on YouTube at the warship as well. Um, and yeah, pretty much any social media that has a social media, including the super racist one, which I didn't realize it was until I signed up for it. Um, you can find me at the warship. Um, <laughs> What's that one? What's that one? I think it's like? called Getter or something like that. I think it's like Joe oh, Rogan's yeah. one. It's like super red. Everything is very red there. All the colors are red, and I believe it means it's like right wing. I don't understand American politics very much, but um, it seems to be a lot of pew 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 and 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 yeah, other political stuff that we can't really speak about on here. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. I heard of that. 
But yeah, guys, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for joining us on a very shorter episode than normal. Even though it really wasn't, it just feels like it was because we've spoken pretty <clears throat> comprehensively. So yeah. Yes. Thank Sorry, you very much for being thank here. You, thank you. Thank um, you for being here too, mate. No, no, Thanks you're all right. Spend time with your dad, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. It's very good to have um, him here. So I'm going to go enjoy that. Um, but please stick around for the raid there, guys. Oh. And for me, the warship. And for you, Lukey Bangers. You're a streamaholic. I'm a streamaholic. And now all of you are streamaholics too. Have a fantastic evening. Hey, thanks for watching the show. Have you have you clicked the subs have you clicked the subscribe button yet? Have you have you given us a thumbs up and and maybe commented on the video too? H have you done that yet? Have you done it? Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>